uh, Debian X Strike Force uh, buff, and we have here Julien Cristo to well mainly lead the buff. Please enjoy. Good morning. Um, so I scheduled this buff because um, I've been working inside the X Strike Force for I don't know seven eight years now, I think. Uh, and I've been trying to reduce my involvement for the last few years and trying to get more people uh, to work on those packages. And so I wanted to get a feel for uh, why you wouldn't want to work on them and well, answer any questions you might have about how uh, this works and what work needs to get done. Um, so apparently the x Force right now has uh, about 160 packages in, uh, in Unstable. Um, so there's like different sets of packages. There are protocol headers, there are um, protocol li client libraries, uh, like Xlib and all the extensions around it. Uh, there's the X server, obviously, and all of the drivers that go around that. And then there's uh, Mesa, which handles uh, 3D, and all the drivers around, yeah, for, for uh, the 3D hardware. And then there are a number of apps, either demos or small utilities, and compies. But you'll notice that it's not in stable, not in testing, and it has a few RC bugs. <laughs> <laughs> One of them being not fit for release. Release. Um, yeah, so comp is not so much. And, well, because at some point, some, uh, uh, I mean, there are people interested in comp and keeping it, you know, keeping it in shape. And then that person disappeared and eh, nobody else cared. So it's kind of. So it shipped once in Squeeze and then kind of died. It's pretty much the same, same version of the packages in, in Squeeze and in Seed. So probably should remove it soon. A question there? So what we're currently working on is getting the major desktop into Debian which is GNOME 2, which, GNOME 2, which works, works pretty well with Compass, actually. So uh, is Upstream still active for Compass? Is? Upstream still active? I or have no it, idea. Or is it a deprecated project anyway? So, so it's just, well, let, just yeah, let it disappear. I have no idea whether that's still okay. active or not. So it might, be, it might become interesting to the, to the market packaging team, which has just, just been set up, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I think at some point Canonical hired one of the Compiz guys to work on Unity instead, and then <coughs> I'm not sure whether it was dead before or that killed it, but you know. <laughs> um, and what else? Okay, a bunch of protocol libraries. Many of them have read on the on this. Uh, DDPO page because this spring I think there was like a bunch of CVEs for the protocol libraries, like 20 packages in one big dump of security fixes. And then yeah, Mesa and a bunch of apps, the protocols, and 
server and drivers and how many drivers. I mean, it, we, one of the things that I'm thinking of doing for Jesse is to get rid of many video drivers for hardware that hasn't shipped in 15 years or something. Because, yeah. Like, I. 740, I don't know. Hmm? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Exo still ships this stuff and like updates them for <coughs> for new. Yeah. So for input, we actually removed many of the drivers saying, okay, get a kernel driver already and use fdev. And so for input, we're down to fdev, um, uh, synaptics, uh, Wacom, uh, and maybe joystick, <coughs> which, yeah, it's a reasonable number of drivers. But for video, it's like, like 20 still. And, uh, probably. Yeah, so three of them are used, and the rest is just extra work for, eh. True, yeah. Okay, so let's mix four. So there are people on working on, there are people involved in the x Triforce that are focused on one driver because they have that hardware, they're interested in keeping the code up to date. So right now that's the case for Nouveau, mainly. Uh, I think QXL also, uh, that is the driver to run inside Spice, uh, also has a dedicated maintainer, but everything else is when we get around to it. And so, yeah, before this week, the, none of the other drivers had been updated since the WYSI freeze. Um, which means if you want to use new hardware for Radeon or Intel, eh. So yeah, I've been kind of intentionally holding off on updating stuff, trying to see if people would bite and say, okay, I need this, a new version of this driver. And then I could say, oh, thanks for volunteering. Didn't work out so well, so yeah. Um, we use, so a bit about the packaging, we use Git for all of it. Um, upstreams in Git, and so most of the work for updating is eh, git fetch from upstream, merge, and then update the change log, maybe some dependencies, and you're good to go. Um, we do ship a few patches, but I think most of them are backports from upstream, which means when a new version is released, usually that means all of your patches disappear which is kind of nice. It's not hard to get commit access upstream. Uh, once you've sent a few patches, people get tired of applying them for you, so they say, oh, get an account. Um, and yeah, upstream is quite nice to work with, so we don't really have any issues on that front. What does take time to handle is uh, this thing here, uh, because there are, yeah, too many bugs open and there are, uh, the count is growing fairly regularly. Um, 
And that's not a really fun job, so basically all the important bugs are, are silly ones, except the ones for companies get handled, handled pretty quickly. But for everything else, we mainly say, well, we either don't reply because yeah, there's no time, or when we reply, we say, okay, file this bug upstream. For some cases, that works, but many of the components are not really actively maintained upstream, which means the bugs just stay there, just like there's a pile of X bugs on freedesktop.org that yeah, just sit there waiting for somebody to be motivated enough to fix them. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, so we should probably uh, find a way to like close all of these old bugs because they are just noise that doesn't help anyone. Uh, okay, so I guess now I have a question for you. Uh, why are you not part of the X-Strike Force? Okay, so maybe a question for Michele. Why are you part of the X Strike Force? Uh, okay, because, uh, wait, wait, for the mic, maybe? Uh, can I ask, uh, answer before since I am? Okay. I'm not part of the Debian X Strike Force, and the motivation is that if I were part of all the teams uh, that in these days have asked me why I'm not part of this team yet, <laughs> I would be part of nothing. <laughs> I couldn't have the time to do everything. Actually, I you think sleep, I, right? I would be. I you would could be. Stop doing that. Sorry. You sleep, right? You could stop doing that. Oh yes, uh, I'm not. I'm still part of the sleeping team. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I decided to join uh, the team because uh, my laptop has a Nvidia card with the Optimus uh, thing in there, and uh, I want to uh, have the latest uh, X server. So I went on the IRC and I asked, uh, is going to be uploaded? And they say, yeah, if you do something, yes. Yeah. So I just started <laughs> to work on it, and yeah, that's it. So every once in a while, somebody bites. That's nice. Ben? Well, yeah. I, know, I, I thought you were OK. So I'm not actually a member of the X-Strike Force, but um, I've done an upload of Western recently because um, what I am is I'm upstream x go which is a sort of terminal server solution for Unix terminal servers. And we use this, well, really old and buggy fork called NX, which is from No Machine. And we are currently heavily exploring alternatives like testing Western with a free RDP backend that's pretty fresh in... in in Wild and Western. Um, so, uh, so basically, the, why I'm sitting here is being interested in what other technologies do we have for remote access over the network, X over the network, that scales well, um, that can cope with high latency on the network, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so, and then I'm particularly interested in Western and in X Wild and having that in Debian. Um, if, well, not if it works with free RDP in the back end, but that would be cool. So, yeah, so that's my interest here. Okay. So I have a question for you. Um, of the disaster and bug counting here, how much of it is for stale drivers that we aren't actually actively maintaining either upstream or downstream? And how much of it is for packages that aren't directly related to X, like Wayland Weston, Comp is, that kind of stuff? have any way of getting an idea of what the what the bug count is in the relevant packages I mean we have three video drivers three input drivers and the core server yes yeah, so I guess it's around the hundred for Intel right but exactly many of those are probably like fixed because they are from the squeeze days or something that uh, right. still open because nobody's 
bother to close them yet. Uh, ATI might be a bit less. I mean, one easy thing to do to reduce the number of packages here is to just uh, focus the X strike force on the X window system itself and, yeah. uh, you know, oh, it's, shed it's some more, of the actually. packages that are, that are definitely unrelated. What's, that's the ATI driver, yeah? Yeah, that's the ATI driver. So we are up to uh, over 100. Yep. Uh, And Nouveau is probably around the Similar. same ballpark as well. Yeah, video, driver, video drivers are always going to have yeah. reported bugs in them because video hardware is broken. <laughs> <laughs> and then... There are bugs that are filed against the server as well. Uh, but yeah, it's for the server, there are the mix of relevant bugs and some that are not so much. Right. Mine, and po possibly many of the X server bugs are also driver bugs. Not that bad, actually. Really? Good. Yeah. I expected more for the server. So, like, how many bugs are in Compiz as a package that nobody should be maintaining? Certainly not the X It's a package force. that nobody is maintaining. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, So I think I think the yeah, it's, yeah also yes seventy seven bugs yeah. eighty one bugs yeah. yeah a surprisingly small number considering how well maintained the package is yeah it's also not used so yeah <laughs> it's yeah packages that have no users tend to not get that many bugs. <laughs> So, so yeah, around, around the, like 1,400 bugs, maybe three or 400 needs somebody to look at them. Maybe half of them can be just closed because they are too old and probably fixed already. And then, yeah, so that's, I mean, but you, st you still need on an ongoing basis to reply to bugs that get filed against the video drivers and then get the information that's needed to to allow the user to push them upstream and have the upstream developers look at them. Which is an ongoing work that if you don't do it for a few a few months, then you get backlogged and it's even harder to you know come back and and fix that. Maybe the way to go would be to just, when a bug is more than like, no, no, six months old without being touched by anybody, to, to just close it because it's not helping. But do you have any documentation on what, uh, what one should, uh, should provide upstream? What, so w what we should actually ask the bug reporter uh, that would help upstream fix the bugs? Intel has that uh, documentation. Uh, so they, I mean, there used to be a, an easy to remember URL for it. Now they moved it to some other site that. Eh. In, in IntelLinuxGraphics.org? Yes, it, it moves from IntelLinuxGraphics.org to 01.org. And then, uh, and without working redirects. So, yeah. Uh, but basically, you need the kernel, kernel log, uh, X log, and if it's a hang, then you get this file in debugfs that uh, dumps uh, the last comment that were sent to the hardware before it, it, it hung. So that you can figure out from that set of comments what triggered the, 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 the crash. And so most of that, I mean, for at least the kernel and xlog, we have a report bug. Um, 
hook that uh, attaches them to the bug report. So usually we manage to get uh, most of the information in the initial report, but then somebody, sometimes people either remove it or report from another machine or report with the wrong log that doesn't have the, the, the relevant information and, and then, yeah. But in many cases, the bug, bug handling is, okay, I received this bug, I asked the submitter to move it to free desktop .org and or I reassign it to Ben and he gets to handle it. <laughs> or both of those at the same time because, yeah. Sometimes the bugs clearly in the kernel and not in the X part of the driver. Yeah, I mean, the, the Intel driver in particular, if you're, if you're not using SNA, there's almost no code there anymore. Yeah. You wouldn't expect there to be 100 bugs in something which is basically a pass through to either, to, to the kernel. Yeah. Most of those that aren't like fixed for a year or two are are probably kind of bad. But then somebody needs to handle the RM on the kernel side, and I'm not sure anybody does that. You know, as a matter of you know. Currently, we're uh, in about the same situation uh, in both counts on, uh, on the kernel uh, team. Uh, and uh, we have periods of, of people heroically going through, all, through uh, large numbers of bugs and, uh, and uh, trying to deal with them. And we also have long periods of bugs mostly getting ignored. Um, um, yeah. So, uh, some basically, if when we do deal with uh, bugs in DRM, they're going to be uh, for to upstream unless it's obviously recognised as something that, that's uh, that's been fixed recently. Hmm. So one thing we did do for Wizzy was so Wizzy shipped with a three point two kernel. But we ship the 3.4 DRM uh, in that kernel because so we asked the Intel and Radeon developers what they thought would be a good base. Uh, and I think both replied 3.4. Uh, and we had issues with uh, Sandy Bridge, I think, uh, Hangs or I, I think we still do, and there's a back patch that w that uh, yeah, I think applied to with the back port have. we changed from having hangs on some subset of machines to another, which is kind of typical for. But now there is one specific patch that I put applied in three twelve point two that I shouldn't have, and it's going to be reverted. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that improved some, or that added some support for some hardware, but we don't have, yeah, this is what we were saying the other day, that we don't have yet a good story for how to keep updating that for new, new graphic hardware in, in stable. But at least the kernel in unstable is Always, out, uh, it's always updated. I think, which helps, but we hadn't updated Mesa from I don't know eight that shipped in Wizzy to nine until uh, like earlier this year, I mean, a few months ago. So, so. Given that the stable releases and the distribution media are, are always lagging new hardware, obviously, um, it seems like one of, the, one of the critical issues facing installation of Debian is making sure that stable will run on newer hardware and that stable will correctly say, oh, this hardware is not supported by this environment. We need to use some fallback graphics mode, Visa, FB Dev, something. 
Um, it does because if the, I mean, if there's no support for the hardware, it will use and probably is that, Visa. Is that working? I haven't tested it a long time. I right. mean, so sometimes the driver claims to support the hardware, but right. it actually doesn't. So yeah, that can yeah, happen. Yeah, I can't do much about that. Um, because oftentimes when I'm doing an install, I have to make sure that I use a text mode install because the kernel is going to come up, but then X doesn't start. So the installer, uh, the installer's uh, graphical mode uses uh, Visa FB. Okay. And the FB Dev X driver, because yeah, you don't want to. I mean, you don't need acceleration during your installation. You don't need like multiple monitor support. And so, in a UEFI device, what do we do in that environment? I guess if I have B, I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure, but I mean that's what I would expect. We don't ship any other video driver than FB Dev on in, inside the installer. Right. I haven't, yeah, I've, I've been bitten so often by the graphical installer that I haven't even tried it in the last year or so. <laughs> okay. Anything else you guys want to know or any other comment? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Julien.